What is going on YouTube? Mosville USA here, uh, back with part three of this fixing and modding an original Xbox series. Um, I'm doing an overdub now just because the audio on my phone sounds really, really bad. And in this one, uh, we are just going to be soft modding it in order to T-Sop flash it. Now what it doesn't matter if you're gonna be doing a T-Sop flash it does not matter which soft mod you do what you install with it none of that matters the only reason we are soft modding this console is so we can load up a hexen disk and T-Sop flash it and once it's T-Sop flash then we just chuck in a two terabyte hard drive and go from there now I'm using Splinter Cell to soft mod it and I've already got the um, it's set up with a flash drive with the soft mods set up. It's an older uh, soft mod to do Unleash X. Now there's Rocky 5 soft mod. Um, so use whatever soft mod you want. There's plenty of kits out there that people sell that are pre-configured that come with just the flash drive as well as the cable if you want to do that um, that is the simplest way to get one of these going but yeah all I'm doing is copying these Linux installers over which are essentially modified uh, save files for um, splinter cell And that is the setup. That's all we need that flash drive for. At this point, you could, if you wanted to, just unplug that flash drive. It's no longer needed. It's just to get those save files over to the internal hard drive. And part of why the, uh, the overdub need to happen was the sheer volume of the hard drive on this console is just insane um, so TSOP flashing it super fast was pretty much necessary because it it really sounds like that hard drives on its way out um, and with just a regular soft mod um, your hard drive dies you're kind of in a bad spot um, so yeah, I want to get this, uh, get a custom BIOS on this thing ASAP before that hard drive just completely poops out. Now with Splinter Cell, as you can see, all, all I had to do was uh, go in there, load that save, and we are in this Unleash X soft mod setup. So all I do is I back up the EEPROM, essentially required to continue on with the soft mod here and then install endure soft mod I don't know what the difference between 06 and 67 but I just always go with 06 unleash X and once again none of this really matters that much like which versions what's dashboard we choose any of that it's all gonna be wiped away um, once we swap in a new hard drive anyway. Now I realized when I was doing this, this uh, DVD drive is in pretty good shape. I've installed this on many consoles and it doesn't usually install this quickly. This is a, this is a good disk drive functioning above expectation. And that is it. The soft mod is installed. Once it restarts, I just do the install shadow C thing out of habit. It's probably not even necessary. Just hit the press A. Install the shadow C. And 
We fully modded. Nice. <clears throat> and that's it. That's all we got to do with this soft mod. Uh, now, let's uh, bridge some points on the motherboard so we can T soft flash this sucker. Okay, down, back down to the uh, down and dirty nude motherboard. <clears throat> We're just going to T-SOP this guy real quick. Or um, bridge the pads we need in order to do so. So we're looking for R7D1. Both of them are on the pin header. And keep in mind... Or not on, but near the pin header. Keep in mind that this is for a 1.2 to 1.5. If you've got a 1.6, you're going to need to do a mod chip, unfortunately. And a 1.0 and 1.1. Similar to this, it's just you're bridging different points. One's on top, one's on bottom. So for this one, I didn't actually need to remove the motherboard completely. I just opted to do so for the sake of getting a better shot for the camera here. Okay, so let's start with this R7D2. Simple as that. Nice and bridged. And now this R seventy ten. Nice and bridged. Now just be careful. Make sure you get no solder splashes if you add quite a bit. And if you're having a tough time just bridging it with solder, another good alternative would be to just use some 30 gauge wire like this. Strip the top of it, place it over the two pads just solder it down and then trim the excess works very well certain iron um, I've had irons where it's really tough to get this going uh, the one I currently have it pretty much just does itself I don't know why that is uh, but yeah that's good and bridge now we can put this back together while I'm in here though before I completely reassemble it I want to upgrade the IDE cable uh, to an 80 wire uh, one. So you can see, well, let me go grab it real quick. Okay, scratch that. I thought I had a couple of those IDE cables hanging around. Uh, looks like I don't. So we're just going to finish the TSOP flash today. And uh, we'll do a hard drive upgrade on the next one. So here we go with the, the chunky 40 wire stock cable and I'm going to put this back together. Alright, now the final touches is we are going to be T-SOP flashing this sucker right now. Um, so all we got to do is pop in our burned copy of Hexen. This is Hexen uh, 2018, I believe is the latest version of Hexen that is out there crazy i know that people are still updating these as much as they are um, the xbox modding scene is just unkillable it'll never die great scene great scene all right so i'm gonna turn this sucker on and i've got my og xbox um 360 adapter that is why i'm using a 
Xbox 360 controller. I've got a video coming out about that very soon, so stay posted. Whole lot of original Xbox content coming your way. Um, down the pikes, videos I haven't made that I feel like I should make. So basically, we just want to boot it up with Hexen in there, and the light will turn red on the ring. That's how you know it is being red. And this is all going to change, be different for uh, different consoles. So we have a Winbon chip. You're going to want to check to see which kind of chip you have while you're in there. Um, ours is a Winbon. Now, Sharp Flash. Um, Next time I come across the Sharp, I will do a video just on T-stopping a Sharp. I've only uh, worked on one, and it was a real pain in the ass um, doing that one. So everything else is pretty mellow. So if you have a Winbon, uh, then you're going to choose Winbon or Sharp. If you have an ST or anything else besides a Winbon or Sharp, you go with the other route. Um, this one, the Winbon is pretty easy. There's nothing, it just uses a different application to flash it. Um, the uh, the STs and non Winbon, non sharp ones, you just flash it from uh, Hexen right here. This one needs to copy files and open up a new, a separate a application just to flash it. It's all pretty easy. It, this one, it's just a little bit more convoluted. Added a, you know, an extra minute to the TSOP process. So we go over to advanced once this loads up. Gen 2X loader. Um, then which one? Uh, flash menu is what we want to choose. And then from flash menu, we go to HDD flash. It copied the BIOS file for us, so we just go BIOS.bin. And this process only takes about a minute. Now, if your power goes out while this is happening, uh, you're probably going to be in a bad spot. And then, boom, restarts. We got the nice Evo X uh, icon up top. That means we have a modified BIOS is exactly what we want i like evo x um it is the the jam the one uh seems to be the best bios from my experience other ones might have some perks and stuff there's the tx bios as well and there's other bioses that have um like no hdd patches or no dvd patches so you can uh, run uh run games and all that for, all from the hard drive without needing a DVD drive plugged in and once the modded BIOS is going on you will see that Linux logo there if you still have uh, Hexen in there which is pretty nice um, next episode of this we are going to be putting a 80 wire uh, upgraded IDE cable in here as well as a 2 terabyte hard drive along with a SATA adapter so stay tuned for the next one and you'll see what was once a completely dead um, original Xbox be a beefed out decked out two terabyte um, kick-ass machine full of full of games and emulators and uh, the whole works um, so yeah stay tuned for the next video and I'll see you then bye bye